Hello, CEO Production presents to you the rise and fall of Mr. Bossy, and we are the cool executive officers, Samuel Rodriguez, Jessica Dillon, Adam Crest, and Benjamin Ford. Now, this is the story of an evil manager who worries about his own well-being and a true manager who cares about every stakeholder. But Mr. Bossy, the evil manager, infiltrates in the most acclaimed network in the business of television, Cartoon Perfect Network, Inc. But the evil manager is then confronted by the true leader, Mr. Wright. He does not portray fortitude, but there is one thing that Mr. Bossy does not know. That is that Mr. Ray is an expert in every management concept and he's not afraid to use them. Now stay tuned for our teaser trailer. trailer. Team CEOs is proud to present a teaser trailer of our show, The Rise and Fall of Mr. Bossy. This is the company where only one person have reached the top floor, the founder. But circumstances are about to change because an evil manager is approaching. Meet the characters. The founder. He is just the CEO and founder of the company. A supporting character that only appears in the story to emphasize the severity of Mr. Bossy's intentions. He is one of the victims of Mr. Bossy. His personality represents a shrewd businessman. The main concept he's involved in is ethics. Page 29. Mr. Truman. He is the senior director of the show and true manager who everybody likes, not because he has the position, but because he has earned his employees' respect. He led by example and helped others to develop themselves. He is a hardworking and self-motivating baby boomer ready to retire. The main concepts that he is involved indirectly with are effective leadership, page 208, and charismatic leader, page 218. Mr. Bossy. He is the new senior director soon to unethically become the CEO and chairman of the company and, as the name states, bossy. Authoritarian, egocentric, cynic, treacherous, persuasive, avaricious, and deceptive are some of the characteristics that represent his personality. The main concepts that he is involved with are influence tactics, page 215, concentration of effect, page 34, and ethical lapse, page 30. Mr. Wright. He is the replacement of Mr. Bossy as the new senior director and, as the name suggests, the right one. Charming, conceptual skills, empathetic, persuasive, sensible, professional, thinker, and leader are some of the characteristics that represent his personality. He likes to help people no matter the differences. The main concepts that he is going to be involved with are process redesign, page 441, leading coalition, page 434, bureaucratic control, page 400, influence tactics, page 215, organizational leadership, page 206, strategic vision, page 85, incentive plan, page 185, and charismatic leader, page 218. Martha Thinker. She is the head writer and, as the name suggests, a thinker. However, she thinks too much and in the absence of a leader, she can become disoriented and lost. Loyal, analytical, receptive, technical, communicative, extroverted, and charismatic are some of the characteristics that represent her personality. She is a full-fledged follower who has potential to be a leader. The main concepts that she would be involved with are Operational Plan, page 113, Employee Development, page 186, and Strategic Planning, page 11. John Smart. He is the scriptwriter and, as the name states, smart. However, he is a reclusive and shy person. 
He would do anything he is asked with no complaints, like a finger puppet. Follower, loyal, intellectual, introverted, fearful, and insecure are some of the characteristics representing his personality. He is easy to manipulate because of his naive and insecure personality. The main concepts that he is going to be involved with are technical skills, page 19, and support activities, page 93. Louis Alexander Zervoski, Lazy. Louis A. Zervoski, alias Lazy, was hired as the accountant of the company. Zervoski's responsibilities are to manage the accounting of the company as mandated by the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, GAAP. However, he is the type of person who takes shortcuts to avoid his work and has no intentions to move forward in the company. He is unloyal and volatile regarding who to follow and easy to extort due to his unethical perspective. The main concepts that he is going to be involved with are job enrichment, page 247, ethical lapse, page 30, influence tactics, page 215, and organizational leadership, page 206. Low Ping. He is the graphic designer and was born in China, which he visits regularly. He grew up in a high context culture even though he was raised in the United States since he was three years old. He understands the cultural differences between the two countries and speaks perfect English. He is underestimated since he is still not a U.S. citizen. The main concepts that he is going to be involved with are cultural context, page 70, whistleblower, page 48, and informal organization, page 139. Juan Perez. He is the audio technician and an undocumented immigrant from Mexico. Looking for a better future, he crosses the border with the hopes of achieving the American dream. He is a hard worker and since he was born and raised in a Latin American country, he was raised in a high context culture. He is underestimated since he is not a U.S. citizen. The main concepts that he is going to be involved with are cultural context, page 70, whistleblower, page 48, and informal organization, page 139. Know the episode and concepts. Episode 1, Retirement of a Great Manager. Mr. Truman, a baby boomer, is ready to retire. He and his team, Martha and John, just created a successful episode of Star Masters, the most profitable TV show of the company. The CEO of the company gives a speech recognizing the accomplishments and great management skills of Mr. Truman after the ceremony, Human Resources looks for the next candidate in which they get the surprise of their lives. Concepts Directing Page 11 Mr. Truman led and motivated his team by example. He interacted with them effectively in group situations by listening to and guiding them. Effective Leadership Page 208 Mr. Truman's influence on his team assisted the organization in making great episodes of their show, Star Masters. Personal Power, page 211. Mr. Truman's position in the company and characteristics have had strong leadership influences on the other team members. Episode 2, The Rise of the Evil Manager. Mr. Bossy makes it through human resources. He plans to overthrow the CEO and get to the top floor. With Martha's planning and strategic skills and John's technical skills, he managed to get the respect of the board of directors and makes the CEO look bad by not following social responsibility and hiding several accounts and information from the CEO. He clearly wants his promotion and full access to the top four. Concepts Managerial Ethics Page 29 Mr. Bossy completely ignores any managerial ethics and he steals from the company conning his way to the top floor. Planning, page 11. Mr. Bossy uses Martha's planning skills to give himself leverage in influencing the board of directors, i.e. look at what I am getting done by leading my team, taking credit for Martha's planning. Technical skills, page 19. John Smart shows his ability to write a perfect script at the request of Mr. Bossy. Episode 3, Arrival of Another Charming and True Leader As Mr. Bossy gets his promotion, Human Resources looks for more culturally diverse candidates and another manager who can lead his team. However, after gaining legitimate power, Mr. Bossy changes the whole Human Resources system in which they can only hire weaklings. Tired of being mistreated by Mr. Bossy, Martha and John lose faith 
but Mr. Wright raises their confidence and comes with a great strategic plan that has a great vision and mission statement. Concepts Affirmative Action Program, page 191. After noticing that they make a hiring mistake with Mr. Bossy, Human Resources decides to implement an affirmative action program in the company and looks for more diverse candidates for the company. Strategic Vision, page 85. Somehow, Mr. Wright manages to get hired even though he does not fit the weakling agenda set up by Mr. Bossy. He proves to have some great ideas for the company's long-term success. Strategic Objective, page 96. Mr. Wright, with the help of Martha, comes up with some strategic objectives for the team to aim for, including profitability, viewer satisfaction, and operating efficiency. Episode 4, Every Step Counts. Mr. Wright realizes how Mr. Bossy managed to reach the top floor. Then, relying on his conceptual skills, he manages to view the big picture of the problem. He also realizes that Mr. Bossy has exploited Lo Kang and Juan Perez, the computer experts who create the animations and audio. Thus, Mr. Wright develops a whistleblowing policy and informal organization structure that works. Concepts Informal Organization, page 139. Mr. Wright inadvertently creates an informal organization with his team. He wants to empower them to take action against Mr. Bossy and leads the way in doing so. Centralized Organization, page 140. However, Mr. Bossy is operating under a centralized organization where he, as the CEO and chairman, makes all the decisions for the company. Liaison, page 159. Mr. Wright is working as a liaison between his team and Mr. Bossy. He is taking most of the responsibility over his team's actions and promising to protect them. Episode 5, Pulling the Rope. It is time for Mr. Wright to lead the team to success, but there are not enough funds and after finding that Mr. Bossy is actually a fake, he uses his effective leadership skills to ensure his leadership-follower relationship is well developed. He also uses his influence tactics and reinforcement theories to gain the trust of Lazy and minimize the legitimate power that Mr. Bossy has. Concepts Legitimate Power, page 211 Although Mr. Bossy has a legitimate power as the CEO of the company, Mr. Wright uses his influence tactics to persuade everyone to be united against Mr. Bossy's authoritarian practices. Influence tactic, page 215. Mr. Wright uses a prizing influence tactic to appeal to Lazy. He explains to him what Mr. Bossy is doing and how he is taking advantage of everyone in the company to get what he wants. He explains to Lazy how it will benefit him if Mr. Bossy is exposed and if Mr. Wright and Martha are promoted. Positive Reinforcement, page 254. Mr. Wright uses positive reinforcement, such as praising them for it and or taking them out to celebrate after work, so to reward his team members when they contribute to the show's success. Episode 6, Sneaking Through the Corner. Mr. Bossy tries to prove to the company that he should be the CEO by sabotaging Mr. Wright's work, but after implementing a strategic plan, implementing a great leadership, and motivational environment and gaining the trust of the board of directors, Mr. Wright keeps trying to manage the quality of the work and keeps Mr. Bossy from his evil plans. Mr. Bossy thinks that he has what it takes to be a true manager. Concepts. Quality, page 362. Mr. Wright ensures that the team's production is reliable and dependable and that the team is working effectively and efficiently to accomplish exceptional quality. Pre-control, concurrent control, and post-control, page 402. Mr. Bossy tries to prove to the company that he should remain the CEO by secretly sabotaging Mr. Wright's work. But, using pre, concurrent, and post control, Mr. Wright is able to stop Mr. Bossy. Total Quality Management, page 363, Mr. Wright uses TQM to keep his team on the right track and making improvements at all times. He continually emphasizes the commitment that is required. Episode 7, Terminus and Genesis. The board of directors and shareholders start noticing that the company is losing value. Shares have gone down and they want answers. The morale of the company falls down but Mr. Wright manages to get the position of CEO and Martha gets promoted to the new senior director of the show. As the CEO, Mr. Wright implements a great plan to overcome resistance to change and shares go up, finally taking care of the evil management and inviting the founder to be the chairman of the board. Concepts. Force Field Analysis, page 433. 
Mr. Wright and Martha used this analysis to come up with some solutions to the resistance to change from the employee. Leading Coalition, page 434, Martha forms a leading coalition with a couple of other employees to get the resistant ones to follow. Organizational Renewal, page 441. Mr. Wright decides to develop a capacity for continuous change to get the employees to change and avoid resistance again in the future. Will Mr. Wright's exceptional leadership skills translate to his new position as CEO? Find out soon and stay tuned. You really want to know. No kidding. Stay tuned.